Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. I am here for my Christmas home tour. So this is my very first Christmas in my new house. If you've watched all the videos, you know I've been here about a month. So like, there's still a lot to do. But it's Christmas time. And we are celebrating. My kitty cat always has to move. She likes the new house, but she is not sure about a movie change isn't super super fun for her so we are going to go ahead and go on inside for Christmas we decorated the door <laughs> the living room the kitchen and my bedroom that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and I will just jump right in and show you everything we did okay we're at the front door starting with this resin door hanger slash wreath that I made. There's a full tutorial for that up. And of course, most important part of any home tour, the bib is. You excited we're doing a tour, guys? So for Christmas, of course, I'm still working on a lot of things, but it's pretty pink and it's pretty rose gold. In the living room, we have the rose gold tree with the pretty rose gold tree skirt. It's actually a tree collar, it's metal, and I am in love with it. And then the actual rose gold tree itself, there's a, there's basically a full tutorial for all of this on the blog, you guys, including these resin snowflakes that I made. They come in three sizes, three shapes. I just, I love how glossy they are. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that shine, but it is ridiculous. I'll put all the links below. There's also a, really, on camera guys, on camera. A uh, tutorial for the whole tree. And this is why the resin ornaments, like, you might notice they are really, really like wrapped around those branches. Because if you have kids or dogs, you do not want them to get a hold of that resin. Okay, resin is very toxic to be ingested. So if your dogs get a hold of that, it is bad. You can't wrap it around a bunch of times, it's just not worth it. And then we come to the stockings, which are not toxic, they are just pretty. We actually have a full post on how to add this lace. I found these stockings this year at Target. It's part of their winter collection and they were perfect for what I wanted. I originally found a set on Etsy for like $350 and y'all, these were $15 each. And then we got the lace for $18, making each stocking like $19 each. And then I made these foil embossed stocking tags with my Cricut. I just, I don't know. I love how they turn out. And they just hook. They just hook right on that little ribbon. All right. So then we just have a few other decorations. My little swan that I keep my remotes in few pillows. We of course have this little baby, which is this tobacco basket I made with a pretty infeasible ink sign. This is one of the free SVGs that I put out this year. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It turned out super cute with that rose gold bow. I also made a red and green version of this if you want to see it in a different color. They really think that we're just, we're just touring them. The dining room. Guys, this tablescape was not anything I wanted. These are actually a gift, but I wanted to see how they looked on my table and I loved them. So this is just a tablescape of love. And it goes to show sometimes you can make whatever you like work. Of course, we also have these pretty little resin presents that I made. And of course, 
the resin Christmas trees. These turn out so cute. They look perfect in my little resin forest. And back here, tucked away, we even have the We Wish You a Merry Christmas tree, which is also resin. I love how the little feet make it stand up. Also, Cinnamon is with us for the full tour. Then another resin project, going into the kitchen. I made this little resin sign this year and I, I'm gonna show you a closer look because I just, I cannot get over how some of this resin just like blends together. It's so pretty. And it paired perfectly with my letter to Santa Claus sign that I made last year. So kind of in love with it. And then there's the kitchen which is kind of my favorite thing. It is so sunny in here, you guys. All I did on, on the wall here is add the little deer. I added the pretty white bows over the windows. I added another little tree and a deer down here, along with this cute little sleigh that I made. Michelle over Weekend Craft has a monthly SVG membership and this was one of her freebies this month. Well, not freebies, it's a paid membership, but you guys, it is so worth it. I'm, I think I made like half of the SVG she put out this month and they're amazing. Not amazing as my trees. I just love how this turned out. These mercury glass trees are like literally my favorite Christmas thing of all time. And I was actually working on wrapping presents and you can see I made these little light bulbs out of resin, of course. Can't even pick them up on camera. It's too bright. There we go. They are perfect for gift tags. I just tied some twine around them. Or this one, I even just hot glued them right to the package. They turn out so cute. Look at this one, it has a feather, feathered bow. And this one has a few leaves off a sparkly poinsettia. They turned out so cute. All right, so then, the only Christmas left to see. How cute is that? Can we just look at like everything one more time? Let's see, no Betsy. I still do need to like completely decorate around this TV. So, you know, for now I just kind of hung my uh, Santa hat on the corner. I actually heat embossed this with my Cricut, which is a whole other project, but it's super easy, you guys. I'll link that below too ready for the hallway. If you guys want to see what's in these rooms, there's no Christmas, but I'll leave a link to my one month update for what I've done so far. Yes, there are mercury glass trees on everything. And this tree right here, the big one, the big one, it is my favorite of all the trees. My mom found it and I am obsessed. All right. I have two trees up this year. Yes, there's full posts on both of them. And yes, that is a little um, Valentine's Day sign peeking out behind the gnomes. But let's be honest, 1 Corinthians is kind of all the time. And my gnomes. I'm sorry, are you not as obsessed with gnomes as I am? Surely I'm not the only one. This tree was a real labor of love. I made the tree skirt at the bottom. 
We made all, 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 all of this garland. There's a tutorial for that on the blog. It turned out amazing. I made a few of these snowflakes. These were shrinky dink, actually. And of course, the floral picks. I can link those below. They're from Dillard's, but they were twice this size. And on this small tree, they were too big. So we made them half the size. And by we, I mean my mom. So thanks, mom. And that concludes the Christmas tour for the very first year in my new house. Say, see you next year.